Bonjour. Who's up for seeing something strange yet strangely awesome? All those who say I, say I. Hope you are as well. Please watch on. Today, I've got a real treat for you. This is a real combination of new ideas as far as filtration goes. This is what I'm going to be making. Yes, it looks like a lump of bone with the marrow in. But what is the uh, two wires coming out of here for? Well, uh, you'll find out. Before I show you this working, I'll show you the components that are involved in its manufacture. And then I'll explain why I've made it, how I have made it. Here are the basic components of our filter. We've got the polyester tube. We cut a little slit in here for the outlet of the pump to poke through. We've poked a little hole in here for the electric cable and also the air inlet pipe to fit through. That comes off there. And what that is, is an adjuster. So you can adjust how much air is sucked in and that affects the size of the bubbles. And just a quick note, I did have to take the plug off the pump to get the cable easily through there. There's no real other way of doing that unless you take the cable out here uh, if you want to keep the plug on, but I'll just cut the plug off and easily attach another one. This is the pump and it's quite a special pump. I don't know why this hasn't been used in aquariums before, but I'm here to tell you that it's an awesome idea. It's a really excellent pump. And I'll run through the features when I'm explaining about the filter in a second. Here we've got two bits of foam. You can cut your own foam, you can get big blocks of foam, or you can just cram matting in here. They cap off the ends. And for inside the filter, we've got two bags of filter media. And this is BioHome Ultimate. I'll also explain about that in a moment as well. So basically, we feed our cable and airline through there. Push the pump in till the nozzle sticks out of the little hole. Pull that tight, just to tidy it up in there. Then we'll put filter media in that side and also in that side. And then we cap that off with the foam, which fits in there nice and tight. And do the same on the other side. And that's our filter. You can go with a bit of pipe here. You could put a a tea piece on there if you wanted to fire the water two different directions I suppose or you could put a spray bar on here instead of this pipe that way you could have almost like a, a fine bubble wall like a mist wall the possibilities are endless really but this is our filter this will eventually get covered in algae which will feed all sorts of microorganisms fry and shrimps the whole filter is basically a feeding station for those things. Most of the water will be drawn in each end but it'll also be drawn in through the body of the filter itself. So you've got foam, you've got filter media which in this case is BioHome Ultimate, best media you can get. This filter is basically going to sort out ammonia, nitrite and nitrate and if you don't know much about the BioHome media just look through my previous videos and I'll also put a link to associated biohome videos in the description of this video. So either side of the pump we've got the media and either side of the media we've got the sponge. You can of course just pack this with fine particle matting or sponge if you just want a straightforward filter to make the water clear. The idea of this one is though it makes it clear and exceptionally healthy. When this white polyester tube becomes totally blocked, all you do, you pull your filter apart, hand wash it out, or stick it in your washing machine with no chemicals, and it'll totally clean it. It's a fully washable filter. And if the pump goes, all you do is just take your little tube off here, pull it apart, take the pump out, put a new pump in, and your filter's as good as new. So this filter will not only mechanically and biologically help your water, i.e. it should make it perfect 
but it can also chemically clean it as well. All you would need to do if you wanted to chemically clean the water as well, take one of these filter medias out and just put carbon in, purigen, basically anything that would suck in the muck in the water. You could even put a peat ball in here actually. If you wanted to condition the water as well, pull that out, take your media out of this side, put a peat ball in here, so as the water's being drawn over it, it's going to reduce the pH and spit it out for your low pH fish. You can do so much in this little filter. But that's not all. Because of the design of the pump, it will also aerate the water as well, without the use of an air pump. And the size of the bubbles can be adjusted to make it run silently. And the reason I went for a silent way to aerate the water is because I know a lot of people have fish tanks in their bedrooms or in their living rooms and quite often they switch the air pump off because it makes too much noise with all the big bubbles popping. Air pumps want to go 24-7 so that the oxygen levels in the tank stay high. If you switch it off, they crash and then they go back up again when you switch it on and then they crash when you switch it off. This way your oxygen levels in the tank are going to stay very constant. And I'll show you just how well this produces air in a second. But first of all, I'll explain a little bit more about this pump. This is, I think, a 300 320 litre an hour pump. You can get 450 litre versions as well, which I do hope to have available for sale pretty soon. And a lot of people will be thinking it just looks like a little water feature pump, and it does, but these are actually used for hydroponics. And what this does it sucks water in, but it also sucks air in as well. And the important thing is where it sucks the air in. On a standard pump, it would suck air in at the outlet. So it would have a little venturi that as the water was flying over the little access hole, would drag air in and blow bubbles out. That can be quite noisy. What this pump does, it sucks air in at the same point that the water gets drawn in before the impeller. So it sucks air and water in at the same time. The impeller shreds the air so it makes it tiny little bubbles and then it spits it out. Really highly oxygenated water. Not just water with air in. It's shredded air. And that's so important. Not only from a useful point of view because the tiny little bubbles go right around the tank. They don't just bubble off but also from a noise point of view as well because that makes this really really quiet and the fact that it's in a polyester tube means you're not even going to get noise from vibrations this is basically a muffler keeps all the noise in here for silent operation there you go, you can see exactly where it spits out now you don't need that on though, just take that off see the end sticking through there, water's just going to come straight out of there so I guess now we better see this thing in action Right, here we go, big switch on. Right, the filter is actually working there, but there's no air coming out. Ah, now there is. So we can have huge bubbles, or if I adjust this by turning it down, watch what happens to the bubbles. Look at that, tiny. Shut it down so there's really microscopic bubbles coming out. And now they're going all over the tank, they're not just shooting straight to the top. And that makes such a difference when you're aerating water. Open it up a little bit more. I mean that's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful, look at that. And the fish love it. And you can just imagine when all of this polyester gets filled with muck, algae grows on here, you're going to have shrimps and plex sucking that, you're going to have fry feeding from it, feeding off all the microorganisms that attract themselves to this. Now I know a lot of the fellas that breed fish and also keep shrimps love foam filters because they attract muck to them, microorganisms also get attracted to there and breed on there, and your fry and your shrimps, your plex as well, feed from the foam filters. This is really just an evolution of that idea, but it takes it to the next level. And not only is the filter moving water, it's aerating water, it's 
control an ammonia, nitrite and nitrate, it's also supporting other life which in turn will feed the inhabitants of the tank. I'm particularly pleased with this idea. I just need to find out where to get those polyester tubes and I do possibly have a source for those so keep your eye on future videos. I should have these available fairly soon. I've already sourced the pumps and really everything else is just up to you what you put in. You can put anything in but you need that sort of pump and that sort of tube. I'm hoping to get those soon. I. I. He's a god now. If you've made a similar filter from this idea, or you've made some of the moving bed filters that I brought out years ago. I would love it if you send me the link and also allow me to use some of the footage because I do intend doing a video of people who have evolved my ideas because I just put the ideas out there but I love it when people take those ideas and evolve them and make them into something better. If I was big headed I would say it would be pretty hard to make that better but I'm sure you can do it. There's the idea, you run with it. All I ask is that if you do make something very similar using this idea, you just remember where you saw it first. Because I've seen so many moving bed filters, and some of them from big channels who just pass it off as their idea. It isn't. Moving bed filters isn't my idea, it was just my idea to use them in a tank. And on the subject of moving bed filters, there is actually some new media out, so I'll be showcasing that in an upcoming video as well. If you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up button, much appreciated, and feel free to share this video on any Facebook group pages, forums, websites, wherever you want to share it, please share it. Because the more informed we can make people about proper filtration practices, the happier the inhabitants of our aquariums are going to be. So there you go, there's another unusual and highly effective idea from the twisted mind of Pond Guru. This filter really does it all. It shifts water about like a pump does, it aerates the water like an air pump does, it's fully customizable so you can use it for pretty much whatever purpose you want, whether that's mechanical filtration, biological filtration, chemical filtration or a combination of all three. It supports microorganisms which will feed your fry and also your shrimps and plex. It costs very little to run and if any part of it breaks down, you simply substitute something else. Getting all of those things to work within a small area is a bit of a holy grail. I don't think I've made the perfect filter, but there's enough about that filter to make me ridiculously confident that it could handle a large tank. So keep checking my eBay store when I do source a regular supplier of these tubes and also the pumps they will be available on there and I may even make up full systems as well because this really is maybe it's not the ultimate filter but it's pretty damn close so as far as this idea goes don't thank me thank somebody called Wes I've been conversing with him via email for the past few weeks and it was him that sent me this tube obviously it was a little bit longer than it is now and I've taken a bit out, but he sent me this and said, see if you can do anything with this, might be good for a filter. As soon as I saw it, I thought, I know exactly what I'm gonna do, and I know exactly the pump I'm gonna use in here. So thanks very much to Wes. Without you, I would never have made that filter. There's gonna be quite a lot of aquatic videos, so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. And therefore I am... Pon Guru?